Tierra Wolves is located in the town of Los Ojos, two and a half hours north of Albuquerque on Highway 84 in the northernmost reaches of our state. This weaving studio and showroom date back more than a hundred years and their rugs and wool products represent a rich culture and history of weaving in this region. Settled by Spaniards going back as early as the 16th century, raising sheep and weaving have always been a way of life in this valley. And Tierra Wolves makes for the perfect introduction to this heritage, evidenced by the exquisite rugs, pillows, and blankets, as well as clothing and accessories adorning the showroom. It is clear the local artisans of Los Ojos are doing an exceptional job at preserving the village's weaving legacy. In fact, the weavers of Tierra Wolves today are utilizing the same wool their ancestors did, that of both Rambouille and Navajo Churro sheep, a descendant of the ancient Iberian Churro sheep. And the wool is as local as you can get, being sheared from the sheep that pasture in the surrounding mountain meadows, and the quality is superb. Moving beyond the showroom and the stunning display of finished products, you will take note of the array of yarns and tools you may buy for your own weaving projects. And for many people, this is why they come here. Through a regular schedule of weaving, spinning, and hand dyeing classes, Tierra Wolves brings a new audience and participants to this age-old craft, engaging new people in the process every day. Let's start with the dyeing. Artisans at Tierra Wolves dye both commercially and naturally. And for their natural dye, much of what they use is gathered locally, both fresh and dry plants, roots, nuts, just about anything you can imagine. I'm meeting up with Tony to learn about their process. So does what you actually actually spin and what you make, the end product, depend on like kind of the regional kind of plants, that the colors you have to dye with? Somewhat, but we do buy some things because Almost every local plant's gonna give you a yellow. Right. Some kind of so yellow. New Mexico. You don't That's have... <laughs> it. But mm -hmm. then you have a few things you can do. We use cota, which is Navajo tea or Mormon tea. Mm -hmm. Yerba negrita, chamisa, cañagre, curly dock. This is avocado skins and seeds. Really? <laughs> avocado. So I get everybody to save all their avocado seeds, and then when I have enough, we mm -hmm. chop them up. In a... Nothing goes away. That's the first one I tried. That's cool. So you're actually doing a natural dye right now? Yes, these are some mealy bugs off of prickly pear. Oh. And this will need to simmer an hour. It looks, oh wow, look at that. <laughs> but if you pinch it, you see it that goes it's right not back. ready. Mm -hmm. So it takes an hour for it to soak up the color. So you kind of, you have to be patient with it. You can't just rush the process. You got it. I'll show you over here. Here are the cochineal. These oh, are the mealy bugs from really? the prickly pear. They're almost metallic. Yeah. That's so great. It's an actual bug. They're little mealy bugs. They're, <laughs> they're dead already, but... No way. But they feed on the prickly pear. Correct. Okay. And I had always been told that the prickly pear, the fruit itself, would not stay fast to light if you uh, use it for dye. Mm -hmm. But I talked with one of my Navajo friends, and he said that if you ferment it, it will. Oh, and I haven't tried that yet. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised there's anything Tony hasn't tried. I had no idea how much can be reaped from our landscape to create all these wonderful dyes. I have a whole new appreciation for the spectrum of colors seen in these rugs. Speaking of rugs, one of Tear Wool's weavers, Sophia, has offered to give me some one-on-one -on -one instruction on the loom. So Sophia, you're going to teach me how to weave on a loom? Yes. <laughs> or we're going to attempt to at least. Okay, so, so can you, let's do the, the basics, okay. essentials. Okay, this is the basics. Okay, this, this is your warp, this is your weft, okay? Um, your weft goes across your warp, the warp okay. is your, your base. And when you step, when you step on a treadle, this are, these are your treadles down mm -hmm. here, when you step on one, it opens a shed. It opens a okay. shed. So the shed has to be open for anything to go through. So, right, okay. and then you make an arc. You hold your finger there yes. when you close it. When you step okay. on the other treadle, it brings up the other set of, of um, mm -hmm. the other harness, okay. and that's what weaves it in, see? Okay. So now it's woven in. So you just grab here in the center here and beat it down. Huh. Tuck in your tail. That looked way too easy. <laughs> we'll see. <Just> <laughs> we'll see, exactly. No, it's it's not, you know, it's time consuming. It's mm -hmm. it's fun. It's yeah. it's never easy, but it's pretty simple. Right. So you can you can stand here. Okay, and the, and the shed is closed, so I'm gonna keep, stay on You the wanna left. be on a closed shed because you're gonna be doing another shot. Throw it through, catch it on the other side. All right, so okay. I pulled it through, and I have it on the side. I'm going to make you an arc. You want to hold it there. Now, make your arc. Okay. And pretty good firm arc. Bring mm -hmm. it down just a little, because if you make it too high, you'll get buckling. Okay. So that's good right there. Now, okay. hold it. Step. On the other side. Perfect. Now, okay. grab it right in the center and beat hard. Good job. Now, throw it through the other side, and okay. repeat that hole. Okay. I pulled it through. 
And I want to hold it. Yes. Not too much tension, like kind of right there. And a nice firm arch, so bring so, it down. So much. Now make your arc. Okay. A little, little lower, bring it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Step, hold, step, good. Grab, no center, beat. Yay, Michael's a weaver. All right, thank you. You made that look so easy, and you made, uh, I processed it in a way that I could do it. Because yeah, well. the loom is very intimidating if you don't know what you're doing, but once you get it, you step into it. it. Sophia's instruction makes this look easy, but don't let my beginner's enthusiasm fool you. The artistry and technique behind the complex patterns of these rugs is not lost on me. But I do think I've found a new passion. While time consuming, there's a meditative quality to looming. The rhythm of passing the shuttle, stepping on the treadle, beating it down by closing the shed, and then seeing your progress immediately, very gratifying. All right, I'll be here all day. All right. <laughs> Going through. Tierra Wools offers two-day, three-day, and week-long classes in dyeing, hand spinning, and weaving. If you're more limited on time, look into their free one to two hour weekly classes on ink loom weaving, hand spinning with a drop spindle, and knitting. Open year round, but during the winter, they are closed on Sundays.